I promise you that is a sure way that is a sure way to run your life into the ground. If you want to be the hands and feet of Jesus, if you want to help your community, if you want to help people. Bruce Lawn. Ladies and gentlemen, the daily proverb for today is Proverbs chapter 3. We're going to look at verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. It's not talking about the organ of your heart. It's talking about the deeper willpower, understanding the core of who you are. Okay, that is what the heart, like it's everything flows out of the heart. And this says, do not depend on your own, uh, your own understanding. Okay, don't depend on your own understanding. Why? Because your understanding will lead you astray. Okay, if you can have a solid GPS going to a place you've never been before, you probably should use that GPS instead of trying to uh, instinctually feel your way to a residential area you've never been to, a neighborhood you've never been to. Don't depend on your own understanding. Utilize the resource you have. Utilize the GPS you have from the scriptures to the local church, so on and so forth, right? Utilize that. Seek his will in all you do. Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added onto you, right? Delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart, right? And he will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Some of you guys, you're the smartest person in the room all the time. Sometimes you're the smartest person in the room because you're arrogant. Other times you're the smartest person in the room because you can't get into any other rooms because you ain't got no friends. Both of which are wrong. You need to stop being the smartest person in the room. You need to let some other people speak some life into you, some other people that have experienced some things a couple of seasons ahead of you, right? And some of you guys that are just isolated and alone, you're the smartest person in the room because you just, you ain't got no friends. You need to get, you need to get some friends. You need to go get in the local church. You need to build some relationships. You need to get some mentors. You need to get someone around you that's, that could speak hope and life and guide you, right? This is why if you're looking at getting married, uh, premarital counseling, yes, pay for it. Yes, get a mentor couple, pay for it, yes. If you're struggling right now with your mental health, go pay for a therapist. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. A fear of a healthy fear of God, a healthy reverence and a respect for God being on the throne and us being finite humans. This is crucial. Okay? You don't fear God as if you fear a scary movie, though God can be scary at times. You fear God in the way my son, who's eight, fears me and has respect for me and reverence for me as his father. Not that I'm going to crush him and beat him, though I have the capacity to if, if it needed to happen. But I'm a good, loving father, and he has a reverence and a respect for me. That's what that word means. It's closer to reverence and respect. Hey, you want to see something crazy? 67% of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. Do me a quick favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all the videos here on the Bless God Studios channel. So that 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 is what that's saying, okay? And some of you guys are gonna get tripped up and why should you get a therapist if you got Jesus? Uh, the same reason you should get a coach if you're trying to go somewhere in your fitness. The same reason you should get a mentor with your finances if you're trying to go somewhere with your finances that you haven't been. The same reason you should get an older couple to mentor you and disciple you and your wife when you haven't gone to certain places. Okay. Yes, Jesus is the source of all knowledge, all truth, all of that. But Jesus also works through people. Jesus also uses community. Jesus also helps you learn from other people's mistakes. Okay. So this idea that like, I don't need help. I got Jesus. Okay. We'll see how far that gets you. At some point, you got to get around somebody smarter than you. At some point you need to get, and by the way, I'm talking about a solid Christian therapist, Bible believing Christian therapist. Some of y'all go out and get some non-Christian therapists and they just, that's not, that's not good, right? So that's, that, that, that is what I'm talking about is healthy community, healthy coaches. If you want to get breakthrough in your fitness and you've never gotten breakthrough in your fitness, you've never gotten where you want to go, you might need to go hire a coach. You might need to go hire a trainer, right? If you, if you, if you are a newlywed or you're about to get married, you're thinking about getting uh, engaged, or you are engaged, you might need to go hire a mentor couple or go pay for a class at your local church where you can get access to some people, right? The thing about paying for something is it just makes you more serious about it. It just makes you more serious about it. When you can invest behind something financially, you tend to take it more seriously versus if you're just getting 
free stuff, right? And, and, and they've done this. When you pay for something, you're more likely to use it. You're more likely to take advantage of it, so on and so forth. And so it's okay to sacrifice. It's okay to save up, save some money, sacrifice. Because ultimately, it's not. It's, it, you, you, you cannot live your life as the smartest person in the room. I promise you that is a sure way. That is a sure way to run your life into the ground. That is a sure way to love you. And some of you guys are so uh, nihilistic and, and hopeless that you don't even care if you run your life into the ground. And, and for you, friends, I would desperately implore you to go read Matthew chapter 25, the parable of the talents. Get that into you. Read the book of Proverbs. This is why we encourage reading a chapter of Proverbs a day. What we do on this side of eternity matters. If you want to be the hands and feet of Jesus, if you want to help your community, if you want to help people break out of the, po the, the cycles of poverty, get out of generational curses, if you want to be a part of the solution, you got to first get your house in order. So many of you guys want to go from being dysfunctional and messy to being uh, flourishing and helpful. And the truth is, before you go to flourishing and before you go to helpful, and effective, you first got to transition and be functional. You can't go from dysfunctional to flourishing. You got to go from dysfunctional to functional. You got to be a functional adult. You got to be sol a solid individual. You got to be stable in your finances, in your home, in your family. You got to be. You got to learn these things. Twenty years ago, thirty years ago, maybe we didn't have access to this information. Now, well, we've always really had access to this information. Why? Because we've always had the scriptures. We've always had proverbs. Proverbs has always been there. You need to figure these things out before you're trying to jump out the window and go st start some crazy ministry and go on a 10-year mission trip to another country and do all this stuff. If you haven't, if you're not sorted out in your personal life, if you're not sorted out with who you are when the lights are off and it's just you laying there by yourself and it's just you and God. If you haven't sorted, if you're not, if you haven't sorted that person out and you want to go do all these great things for God, I, I, I promise you, that's not what you want to do. I promise you, you're gonna fall on your face and it's gonna be messy. It's going to be more messy than it needs to be. Sort through your junk. Sort through your issues. Develop character and integrity. Be a person who has an ability to navigate this life and not crumble under pressure. And we don't talk about this stuff enough in church. That's why, we, that's why we're going to keep talking about daily Proverbs. That's why we're going to keep talking about this stuff. Hey, this clip is from our daily after party stream. If you enjoyed it, consider signing up for our Patreon community for only $5 a month where you get access to the replays of our daily after party streams as well as the uncut extended versions of our podcast, Discord access that's private, and a discount code for our merch store only $5 a month. And ultimately, it's the best way to help us contextualize the gospel of Jesus using media, podcasting, and of course, YouTube. The link for that is in the description or in the pinned comment. The perks are amazing. You should get on there. It's only $5 a month. I'll see you over there, all right? Peace.